Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week. Today we're looking at the Neoplan Tourliner C P20 13.4 PSVR Ready. We're at MAN at Trafford Park in Manchester for this vehicle test drive. It's quite a cold and frosty morning. This is the very first Tourliner of the new generation that is comes PSVR ready and this vehicle has been built at the MAM plant in Ankara Turkey this particular vehicle only just arrived in the country last week it's had a number of new features added to this vehicle one of the most obvious being the new style B pillar. Which means customers sat at the front seat are now, now able to see clearly as you're traveling around. Centre Continental powered door. As you can see, this vehicle has the destination equipment already fitted into. Very nicely fit in the rear window in the centre. Moving around to the near side, we already have the wheelchair access door in place. So I'll be showing you some more of that later on in the video. My destination display is mounted just here. Personally think it looks good with the front destination in place. And even if you're not using it on something that's PSVR required, it's still good for advertising your company name. Liner sits on Continental 295 ATR 22.5 tyres with Alcoa alloy wheels. This vehicle is also fitted with active rear steer giving the driver the ability to get into some tighter locations.
liner is fitted with a MAN 2676LOH six cylinder engine which delivers 470 brake horsepower and is driven for a six speed ZF Eco Life two gearbox with integral retarder. Looking at the offside rear of the coach, you have the exhaust system. And then you have your add blue filler, which is accessed through a door on the outside of the locker. And then you have the vehicle's isolator switch. Have a near side fitted radiator at the rear of the vehicle. Airbox cover to start. Tour liner certainly does have a premium look about it. The only thing I would like to see is LED rear lights. It does just look fine with the bulbs in. But it'd just be an extra nice touch to have LED units there. Looking underneath the vehicle. It's very well protected. In terms of the fuel filler, you just press the door, open the flap, and you have a lockable fuel cap there. And this is located just behind the entry door. At the front of the vehicle, LED lighting is fitted throughout. I think the frontal styling's got a very dynamic look about it. And although it's been around for a couple of years now, it still looks very futuristic. Taking a look at the interior of the tour liner. Steps have yellow edging. Have a single courier seat there. And the courier has a USB port, twin USB port. Dashboard features a fridge made by Starkle. somewhere for document storage which also has a USB port
All right, moving to the interior of the vehicle. First thing you notice about tour liner is how light and airy the interior is. This is thanks to the lightly coloured roof and trim. There's also plenty of headroom as well. I'm six foot two and can quite easily stand up with plenty of headroom left. We've got nice deep lockers, overhead lockers, which are also carpeted. You do just get the feeling of space in this vehicle. This is the first tour liner in the UK to feature the new Keel Advance X seats, which have leather headrests and leather piping. They also have seat back tables. and magazine nets and double USB charging points with footrests. In terms of leg room on the near side of the vehicle still got some leg room there on the off side slightly more space In terms of the destination equipment on this vehicle, you can see the side display has been mounted here. In terms of passengers sitting here, it doesn't affect the view at all. front destination equipment is mounted on these bars so if you do want to remove destination equipment for the time being it's easily removed there's just some bolts at the top there and then you remove these arms and it's all very sturdy it doesn't move about rear destination equipment situated in the, in the middle of the rear window. Again, easily removed by just undoing those bolts. Just looking at the wheelchair access from the inside. So there's a door there. also have somewhere for the wheelchair lift controller to sit on that bracket as I said earlier on you don't notice the additional tracking it all looks very similar so it's not obvious that there is vehicle tracking seat tracking on this vehicle so it starts there there in terms of the wheelchair lift and access you need to come to the cab of the vehicle and press this button here press the silver button which releases the door on the handle the 
safety system in place to ensure the door does not shut. LED lighting directly above where the wheelchair lift can be. And you have space for the cassette lift to be fitted in at a later date. So everything's ready to go, all the electrics are in place. It's just literally a case of getting the cassette lift fitted. a plan have done with the seats here you're able to move eight seats out of the vehicle the two wheelchairs which is very easily done just by undoing these bolts here and then adjusting this bracket which brings the seats out they can come out through this door and then into the locker area or into the workshop for storage it's all been designed to be done very easily and what I like about this design is you can't really tell that these seats are on tracking on the near side here so it all looks very well put together In terms of closing the wheelchair access door, it's simply a case of pulling this lever up here to release it. So have the wheelchair request button just there and that signals to the driver that a wheelchair passenger is requiring boarding. Overall it's a very neat solution for operators that don't necessarily want the wheelchair lift fitted right now. In terms of vehicle heating and cooling a Valio Spiros AC unit is fitted and an Urbispatcher Hydroronic 35 preheater is fitted. It was about two degrees this morning when we started this uh, video and the inside of the vehicle is nicely warmed up. So the convection radiators are very effective. centre toilet is fitted in this vehicle which is fixed not demountable it's got nice wide steps down to it And that door is lockable from the cab when not in use. A TM quick service multi plus onboard kitchen unit is fitted with a percolator and sausage boiler. there 
sausage boiler in there. There's also storage for this kitchen unit. Two fixed monitors are fixed to this vehicle and you have an in-dash DVD player that works with those monitors. Bosch system nicely tucked away there. You also have an MAN multimedia system. Once you activate reverse, the camera automatically goes to the reversing camera. And then if you open the centre continental door, you also have a camera above there. A very clear system sat nav is easy to follow it means the driver doesn't have to have an additional sat nav sat in the windscreen you can just concentrate on the road ahead by using the onboard system moving to the cab area the driver benefits from an ISRI Pro 2 heated driver seat. Got an ergonomic dashboard layout. Multifunction steering wheel. You have a crystal clear dashboard binnacle with your speedo on the right hand side, rev counter on the left. You have your air gauges, engine temperature, fuel gauge, by pressing this button here, it tells you what your add blue is. New for 2021 is the graphic of the vehicle. So this tells you what doors you've got open on the vehicle. If I open the entrance door, shows up on the graphic if I engage gear it'll tell you what gear you're in moving around to other controls on the dashboard obviously you've got your tachograph here, got your interior lighting, this button here releases the wheelchair access door, then you have hostess call button, WC button that locks the door if it's out of use. In terms of the vehicle's horn, it has standard horn or an air horn. The vehicle also has automatic stop start if activated by pressing that button there. Moving around to the other side of the dashboard, you have your controls for your air conditioning here. You have further lighting and hostess controls there. You have two separate controls for the ferry lift. So you can adjust the front or the rear of the vehicle, or you can adjust the whole of the vehicle. You can turn off the lane keeping device. Steering wheel adjustment is from this button here. Cup holder. You have a heated windscreen, heated mirrors, cab light, electronic signaling window which is quite large smooth in operation
with some blinds. Obviously you can have these in operation and it still allows you to see the near side mirror, so that's a good move. Overall visibility from the cab is very good. The A pillar is not very large, so you've got good visibility there on either side. Got the additional visibility through that small window there. Mirrors are well positioned. That's how far the sun blind has come down. Looking at the steering column, you have your indicators and wipers on the left hand side. And the horn is on the end. Then you have the retarder on the right hand side. And that's a six stage retarder and that shows up on the dash binnacle when you're using it. Driver benefits from Bluetooth hands-free. Have a speaker there and that is for two phones. In terms of storage, you have one compartment there, and another there. Gear selectors located out of the way. Overall, a very well laid out dashboard, and the drive has a nice working environment. In terms of the driver's seat, it does go back quite a long way and there's plenty of adjustment in the steering wheel as well. Just by pressing that button there you can adjust it to what suits you. It is a key ignition. see there your maximum weight the luggage is 850 kg handbrake is located down to the right hand side out of the way mirror adjustments just here Overall, very well laid out. The overhead passenger service units feature LED lighting. simple but effective in design. One of the main benefits of the 2021 model is that you can now see through the trim on the outside of the vehicle and you also have a lower view as well so the front seat passengers now have a much better view and this also plays into the driver visibility 
if you're on a blind left hand turn you can just look to your left and you have vision of what's coming towards you traffic wise so that's a very good feature so overall in terms of interior and exterior vehicle design i'm very impressed with this vehicle the main factors that i like is the interior is light and airy there's plenty of leg room plenty of headroom for when you're stood up then in terms of the driver he has an excellent working environment and the styling is both modern and futuristic MAN are offering this vehicle with a four year warranty as standard bumper to bumper and they have dealerships located throughout the UK and Europe so if there are any issues they'll be easily sorted and the coach as you see it here everything that's fitted to this vehicle comes as standard You can change the seats if you want for full leather and there are other driver assistance systems available but as a standard vehicle you're getting a lot for your money. Operators also receive a full package of information, additional keys etc. So overall, an impressive coach.